David Seidler, the Academy Award-winning writer of the 2010 film The King's Speech, died on Saturday. No cause of death was given. He was 86 years old. Seidler's film took home both Best Original Screenplay and several other Academy Awards at the 2011 ceremony, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor. The movie told the story of King George VI, Colin Firth, who battled a stutter, and his relationship with speech therapist Lionel Logue, Jeffrey Rush. Telling the story of George VI was a longtime dream of Seidler's because he also grew up with a stutter. As relayed by the Stuttering Foundation, Seidler contended with the condition from his third birthday until the age of 16. He explained, I had huge trouble with the H sound, so when the telephone rang, I would break into a cold sweat, because I couldn't say hello. I don't know if school still works this way, but in those days you had set places, and the teacher worked up and down the rows. If I could see her working toward me and she was just going to miss me that day, I would fake sick the next day so I didn't have to go to school, because it was so terrifying to be called upon. Seidler, whose uncle also had a childhood stutter, attributed his condition to the stress of growing up Jewish in World War II-era Europe. His family moved to the United States in 1940 to escape the atrocities plaguing the continent. In the same interview, he said his stutter contributed to his decision to become a writer. Seidler explained, if you're born with two conflicting traits, in my case, I was a born ham, but I was a stutterer, and if you want to be the center of attention but you can't talk, you find another channel, and that's writing. In a separate interview with film critic, Seidler said that King George VI became a beacon of hope for him. By the time I arrived in New York City, I was stuttering, and it stayed with me right through my childhood and much of my adolescence. But the one ray of hope that I was given was the speeches of King George VI. In the latter stages of the war, when I was old enough to listen to the radio, my parents would encourage me to listen to the King's speeches.